I'm well known for my intense, hardcore and zero excuse type workouts. And the reality is, I get my workouts done no matter what the environment, situation, country, hardship, travel schedule, work schedule, or whatever I'm faced with. But you will never get the results you want if you don't have your diet prioritized and don't stick to it every day. I'm not gonna do this work for you or wave my magic wand and present you with your dream physique. You have a problem and I have a solution. Listen to what I tell you and you will transform. Period. The beauty is, is that I have done all the guesswork for you. I tell you what to do, what you need to eat, in their respective amounts, and why. This is to ensure that this is a streamlined process and you progress from day one. Everything on this protocol has been based on my experience of using a nutritional formula that I have developed based on a training volume and body mass. Because I know all of the intense workouts you're performing and the amounts of cardio that you'll be doing each week, I will be able to manage your CNS, central nervous system fatigue, to ensure that you're not overtraining and able to hit every single week at 100 miles an hour. But that's only if you're sleeping well, managing your stress, and adhering to all of my suggestions 100%. So, here is your nutrition formula. Firstly, you'll need to weigh yourself. You should do this in the morning while fasted to ensure accuracy, as food and water weight can have a dramatic influence on your weight on a daily basis. You'll need this number in order to make an accurate calculation of your protein, carbs, and fats, which will affect your results on this program. Now, once you have your weight done, you will apply this to the nutritional formula below. After each four week block, your macro numbers will need to change to ensure that you're always progressing. These macro numbers must be applied to your current weight, not your weight at the beginning of the 12 weeks, but as it changes from week to week. On non-training days, the macro calorie count is going to be lower as the body's demands for fuel is decreased. It also helps create a calorie deficit needed for the body to lose fat. During this program, at some point, I will be removing all of your fats from the macro numbers. So make sure you watch every single one of these videos and read the pages below. Now, working out your calories of each day, please remember the worth of each macronutrient per one gram. Now let's move on to high meal frequency. Frequent meals allow your body to upregulate your metabolism more efficiently by increasing muscle protein synthesis, MPS. Further to this, your body will recover faster from the workouts and be in an environment whereby it can retain and build as much muscle as possible. You'll experience more energy with frequent meals as it keeps your blood sugar levels stable and fends off cravings as you experience more energy and less irritability. For the purpose of defining frequent meals of this program, you should eat your first meal shortly after waking. And then each meal following should be within three hours of each other. Fiber, it's common on calorie controlled diets that the client is given control of choosing their macro choices from my list. Unfortunately, as the transformation progresses and when the calories become more restrictive, people choose to sacrifice fiber sources to save calories or macros for other foods. Now, fiber is extremely important for preventing blood sugar crashes, obtaining better insulin sensitivity, and staying regular. You'll need to eat between 20 to 40 grams of fiber each day, which can be achieved by consuming a large serving of greens powder and or veggies with each meals. This will get topped up by some of the fats and the carb-dense foods within your diet plan as well. The calories from fibrous veggies are not to be counted towards your daily totals though. Now let's move on to fluids. Drinking enough water during the day is essential to hydrate your body. Hydration is vital to transport nutrients to the body and into your cells, promoting recovery and optimizing your performance. On this program, you need to drink a minimum of one gallon per day, sometimes more when the training is intense and in a humid environment. If you find yourself sweating a lot, it is essential to replace lost minerals and electrolytes through electrolyte-based drinks or coconut water. Now moving on to food sources, macros and calories will only get you so far. 
If you choose inferior food choices, it will have a negative impact on your digestion, mood, energy levels, blood sugar levels, and gut health. Choosing bad sources of food is like putting dirty fuel in your car. It might run for a little while, but it won't be as fast or it won't go as far as you want to take it. Then one day it will break down and cease to work properly. Keep your foods clean by creating your meal plan using the list of foods that I put below and you will definitely lose fat much more efficiently while protecting your health. Avoiding dairy and gluten will also help for most people as they do have allergies or intolerances and sometimes without even knowing it. And this can lead to bloating, inflammation and poor gut function. Are you ready to achieve the transformational goals? So I'll see you over there.